Hi, welcome to episode three of the Eco Home Building Guide. Our sub slab insulation is complete now. The next step is the vapor barrier soil gas membrane. Uh, normally, builders use the same 6 mil polyethylene barrier that gets used in walls. We decided to go with something a bit thicker, so we're using the 10 mil permanator barrier from WR Meadows. There's a couple of reasons for this. For one, it's a lot more rugged, so there's less risk of us puncturing during installation. While the company doesn't make any claims as to its impermeability to radon gas, Health Canada recommends a 10 mil barrier for radon protection. Radon gas in homes is the second biggest cause of lung cancer after smoking. Radon stack is just a perforated tube, T-junction, so a couple of these underneath your slab, what it does is it's giving the gas an escape route, so you're creating a channel and then from here it's, it's vented up out through your house like a normal plumbing stack. So this is simply embedded into the uh, gravel below a slab and uh, very cheap and easy solution, a great feature to add to a house for uh, uh, safe air quality. So in order to create a successful radon barrier, you need to make sure that every penetration through the barrier is sealed. Here you see the radon stack itself. Uh, note that while it was perforated to collect gas below the slab, you want a solid pipe that's going to be carrying it up and venting it outside. Uh, so to seal it properly, you can use an extra piece of plastic like you're seeing here as a gasket. Uh, this makes a really tight seal and do this with every pipe you have coming through your barrier. So that's the vapor barrier soil gas membrane. The next step is going to be concrete reinforcement mesh and radiant tubing. That's coming in episode four. Thanks for watching.